Y'all look at Myra. That's her new toy. She's got a jumper. Say hi, Myra. Doesn't fit downstairs. Um, You guys, just real quick. Because I want to give a shout out to Brother Chad. <clears throat> he said something that was true today. And I want to give confirmation to his dream. Um, let me go to my notes because yesterday, um, uh, yesterday I had a, op I had a closed eye vision as I was trying to go to sleep and I was putting together this, you know, notes for this video because I want to talk to, talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and um, I've already shared uh, Brother um, Pastor Andrew Romack's video. It's been a long time since I've heard of him. You guys, anytime I share a video, nine times out of ten, it's somebody who I listen to. So I just want to make sure, you know, I'm not pitting out any, sharing any teachers who don't believe um and once saved, always saved. Because, you know. But anyway, so I shared these two videos. It was a five-part series. And I it was the closest thing to um, a non-denominational explanation of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I shared those things with you. Maybe I can relink those um, videos below. I think I did finish watching the series, but at the time I had only watched two. Okay, so um, I haven't really seen any good videos, so I started putting together my own, my own, you know, teaching, teachings. So within all this, I'm making notes. As you can see, this is yesterday. I haven't changed it because if I change it, it would update the date and time so brother chad just put out a video warning against <laughs> the false holy spirit and i had wrote i had wrote this down because if i'm gonna if i'm gonna talk about the topic i also want to want people to be aware about what the holy spirit isn't okay and chad's I think he put out this video yesterday, but I just got a chance to watch it. Okay? So, I will link his video below, but it's a threat. And, um, I want people to know some of these false signs. Okay, signs that people aren't seeing in the churches these days. And Brother Chad, with his stream that he put out, hit on it perfectly. Okay, I'll leave his video below. You watch his video. Um, I'm in the, I am, I specialize in medical massage now. Um, my whole career and uh, everything in my repertoire is geared towards that area of uh, special populations and um uh what you call it um I'm, I'm, my brain is a fall right now but special populations and injury specific things um but when we were in school they tried to teach us a lot of this new age stuff okay so i wanted to address it and uh, Reiki, there's a girl on my job that is into Reiki, and I've already talked to her about it, And but she says she's a believer, but I could just go so, I could go on and on and on about that. There is a channel that talks about these things more in depth, and uh, this particular person has shared things directly Um you know, videos that she's did, done in depth on it. Also, I wish I could find that particular video of a yoga instructor 
who pretty much exposed what yoga was and um, how it awakens the kundalini spirit and how there's more to it than what he realized was involved until he became a Christian. Okay? Um, also, before I leave, I guess I'll come back and do the video of the vision that I had yesterday when I was falling asleep. Um, Robert Breaker, in all this research, Robert Breaker did a great video of when we received the Holy Spirit. And he made a video on the uh, seven ways that people receive the Holy Spirit. Now, I think three of these are by faith. I did look up all the scriptures, but it was yesterday. Um, he talked, John 20, 22 was how, uh, when Jesus, after the resurrection came to the, appeared to the disciples and, um, he blew on them and they received the Holy Spirit. Okay. But this is the way that we receive the Holy Spirit. You guys, the nanosecond, Sister Charlotte just put out a video on that. The nanosecond we believe. In whom you also trusted. After that, you heard the word of truth and gospel of your salvation. In whom also after you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Which is the earnest inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. Until the praise of of his glory okay just to make that clear that's what's going to be in this video but this is what we believe okay if he talks about the different dispensations he talks about the transition um from the synoptic gospels into acts there's actually what three different i think three different but four uh different reference scriptures here um, he doesn't really talk about Acts 2. I think I put Acts 2 in there. These are the last. I think I put Acts 2 in there because I want to talk about it, okay? Um, and that's what the vision was, okay? The upper room experience. I'll talk about that. Um, but as it relates to the Kundalini, <sighs> let's see what the word says. I was going to talk about this too. But this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1. But unto them which are called. I'm not going to. This is what I. Uh, I've already done a, a lesson on this. Okay you guys. Um, but Paul says for the Jews require a sign. And the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews, a stumbling block, unto, and unto the Greeks, foolishness. The Jews seek after a sign. I think Jesus said a wicked generation seeketh after a sign. Got to be careful. Um, that was one of the points I wanted to, to bring about. All these um, come and, and, and ex have the experience and... You know, experience this and experience that. Um, you got the false Holy Spirit in some of these places. Uh, they're telling you to come on to these conferences and uh, to these resorts and stuff like that. And uh, you, we have an experience here that you'll never forget. And uh, different manifestations of things um, that uh, are truly, they look wonderful. Statues crying. And so on and so forth. This is not the Holy Spirit. So I did want to include that in the video. Okay. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. There was another verse that I wanted to talk about. Paul talks, talks about. Um, demonstrate okay and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in the demonstration of spirit 
and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. It's going to include that in that in that video. I'll leave Brother Chad's video below. And um, you go check it out. And I'll come back and make that video on the open, uh, the closed-eyed vision I had last night. Okay?